Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of a Cuisine Art uh, Vertical Waffle Maker, Belgium Waffle Maker. Belgium Waffle Maker is different. They are uh, generally one inch uh, in thickness. Uh, this Cuisine Art one is vertical, so it, it goes up like this and we pour it in here. It's very convenient that way and uh, Today, the quiz on art uh, vertical is uh, 800 watts at uh, 120 volts. It comes with the instructions. Uh, there's not very much instructions, but it tells you how to care for it and all that. It comes with uh, the measure, and that one is really important. Once this one is filled, then it is the exact amount for this. That's what we found, or a slight little bit less. Because the first time I'd used this, I put uh, a good bit more and it all poured down over the side. So <laughs> this is the one. You can measure it and make a jug the same. And uh, So uh, it's got uh, five settings from one to uh, five, uh, in heat settings that is. It's automatic, everything is automatic in it. I use three, uh, number three. We'll be using Krusty's, uh, Krusty's uh, Belgium uh, waffle mix. Uh, I have some more here in this one here. And I will go by their recipe on the amount of egg and, uh, and oil and water. The size of the waffles are seven inches. Uh, I'll just open it here. It's seven inches from here to here. This part, the outside doesn't get very hot here on the side gets hot. Do not use any metal utensils with this. This is non-stick coating. We do not cover, we do not spray this with oil, okay? Many people will say you use oil on them. They don't recommend it. So if they recommend not putting oil on it, then don't put oil on it. I don't see the reason why I uh, would put oil in it. There is oil in the mixture, and that is enough when you mix up your mixture. I have this for a few weeks now. My daughter loves waffles, and we have all different types of one. We have passion fruit, uh, mango, and everything. But we're going to do a simple uh, banana one today. So what I do now is I t I'm after plugging it in there, and I'm going to put this up to number three. Okay. So when that gets too hot, and uh, it, it will start beeping. In the meantime, you can start mixing your uh, your mixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the powder in first. I am not going to, uh, to uh, sieve it into it for the purpose of this. Uh, we, we just move this one into, uh, into these uh, rubber made. So I, w I will just put in uh, what it says, one and a half cups. And this is a half a cup. So we put in three, measure, three of these. It is much easier to, if you have it in a container. So we will put three cups of, oh sorry, we will put uh, one and a half cups of, of uh, the crust teas in, into, into the bowl. I'll just make a little hole in it. You can do this what way you like, as long as you get yourself a, a not too thick, consistent uh, mix when you're finished. Two of these. So, so that's two thirds of a cup of water. And then we will put one whole egg in. That's a small egg. And we will put in, uh, we will put in three, uh, three, three tablespoonfuls of, of oil. Uh, it, uh, you can use whatever oil you like. We will put three tablespoons of, of this in and then we will whisk it up then. So then we just whisk it up, I, and my daughter likes to do this herself, she's seven years old, and uh, she, lo she loves doing jobs like this, making her own pancakes and her own, uh, I don't let her use this. So bef before you, before you uh, it's better to put it into a jug, before you put it in, make sure the green light is on and it's flashing, and fill this up to the top. Like that. And then you have the correct amount. The green light is on now, it's after beeping there. And I'm going to pour it in. Not very slow, but not too fast. 
And it will start coming up to the top itself then. You can look in there and you can see it's coming up. So don't worry if you don't see it in the beginning. It's going to come up a little bit too high and we cut off that piece, okay? And now it's starting to bubble. Uh, if you put too much in, it will come up over the top and it will make a mess. And it will take about three minutes to make it, or maybe less. It will start beeping when it's ready. And then it's, it's done. So uh, then all we have to do is remove it. So we did a little catch here on the side. It will come down. Now, as you see, I've made it, put a little bit too much in it, but the waffle itself this time is going to be perfect, right? Wait till you see. Now, so uh, you can use two. You can use this and the other. This is already loose, right? I, I can see it's already loose on the bottom. And we will just put it onto the plate. So if I had this perfectly right, we wouldn't have this piece left here. You can eat this piece if you like. It's, n it's not as cooked as much as the other part. So there we have our waffle, and it looks excellent. It looks like it looks like <laughs> king from a factory. And uh, as I said, I put a little bit too much in this time. And when I made one before once, you will get it right. Uh, maybe scrape a little bit off the top of the, the, the measure that comes with it. So now we're going to decorate this. So as I said, uh, I'm just going to make a simple one here for this one. We do use passion fruit and we use Filipino a sweet uh, mango which you can put the little pieces go down but for a nice healthy one we will we will just put banana on it like this we can one banana banana is very healthy so uh, and for children uh, rather than give them something like chocolate and that give them banana we will put some syrup on it as well nearly everybody put syrup you can put butter on it you can put full butter salted or unsalted butter on it if you like I might do a fancy one for you at another day, and we will just drizzle a little bit of the syrup on it. Not too much, to your taste, whatever you want. And it goes down into the crevice of it, and, 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 and that is your, uh, that is your uh, waffle, your Belgium waffle. So that's, uh, my, the, that's a, a seven inch waffle, a Belgian waffle made with Cousin Art uh, waffle maker, vertical waffle maker, a very, very, uh, a, a one inch thick by seven inch one. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will leave a link in the description where you can buy this one. And uh, if you like this or any of our other videos here on Bupolo, uh, please subscribe.